Good morning. Well, my husband made some purchases uh, yesterday or this morning and I'd like to share that with you. So he told me that, um, you know, the f a few months ago when of uh, groceries items or grocery staples were scarce on the shelves they got some corn on uh, from a company that they usually they don't carry in store so now that they are getting things back on their shelves they want to get rid of those canned goods to have space for their own products so they mark um, the items down to a dollar thirty. He told me, but he said that he heard is going to go down to a dollar. So they have green beans, they have corn, and I told him that I don't need green beans because I have green beans in my freezer that we harvested two years ago. So, and I don't usually buy uh, canned um, food. The only canned food that I buy is tomato puree. So I told him that, well, if it goes to a dollar, we can purchase corn because I last year I purchased over 100 corn, uh, year of corn, and I removed them off of the cup, put it in freezer bag, and froze them. So we still have some in the freezer, but this year with the how things are going, I don't know if corn will go on sale low enough for me to stock up on it. Last year, I purchased as low as a dollar, uh, six for a dollar, six um, year of corns for a dollar, so, or cups. And this year, I don't know how it's going to be. So having canned corn, I wanted to get if it's a dollar, a can. So, it, come, it came down to a dollar and he purchased them. But during that process, or before he did that, I told him my idea of stocking up so that we have not just a month or two of those staples that we usually get every month. And there are some staples that we get at the end of the year. So he's hoping that we are going to save our groceries budget, which is $300 a month, to purchase you know, uh, to stock up on our staples at the end of the year. And I told him that I'm not sure I wanted to wait until the end of the year to stock up. So instead of saving little by little what is left from our grocery budget every month until December to stock up on those staples, I prefer we took extra out of our income at the end of the month for the next few months and stock up on those staples. So I have a list of things I'll get purchased at Sam's Club and things I'll get purchased at Walmart. So early this month, he went to Sam's Club and that was the first time since April or March that we went to Sam's Club. So early this July, he went there and he purchased things that he won $500 and he made a lot of purchases there for beans, rice. Uh, I think those are the two main things. He purchased some uh, fridge, air, uh, water filter and air filter at Lowe's because they are close uh, to each other there as well. So he, I think he have about $100 left from that budget. And in the meantime, I show him that, well, instead of waiting next month to do that again, I can use some of my, uh, our grocery budget, that $300, we take out 150 is for grocery staples, non-food and food. Meat and food are not included. So 150 is for that. I prefer to spend some of it on those staples that I like to stock up as well. So that uh, I don't have to use all the 500 or we don't have to take 500 out in full to stock up. We can use a little bit of our grocery budget as well. So, and the grocery budget, we have some um, saving from the prior months as well. So I told him that, well, pasta, spaghetti is one of the staples that I like to stock up on and we like to buy from Walmart. So I told him that he need to check if he can order it to get it on hand because I my calculation is if it comes in, it is like four pounds in a box. So if we have, we cook 
one box in a week cooking two pounds in one eating for our household of seven so that's um one box a week that's 52 bucks for the year so it'll be good to get about 48 to 50 52 boxes so he can order that and so that's how i made my calculation to know how much of an items i can stock up on i like to see how much i use in a week how much i use in a month and then i just time it to see how much i use for the year and it can vary but that's just an estimate so let me show you what we got he went there with 60 dollars and he spent about 55 dollars but he spent 15 dollars on tv cable no tv remote control as well using the full budget so without that in it he spent about 40 dollars on those items here so this is the corn is six pound and the expiration date is 2023 And he spent and uh, is a dollar and I'm glad that his whole corn is not like cream or anything it's, it's not processed past this stage so I like that and he said he got 15 so I don't know how many I have here but it's in this box here as well so this box has six in it I'm not going to open the box but they say low sodium whole kernel corn so 2013 as well and if he got six in and I have six here one two three four five six seven eight nine seems like I have nine so he got 15 then one two three four five six seven eight nine so he got 15 and next I told him about tomato puree and my estimate is I use one a week, so I need 52 of this. And sometimes I don't use tomato in my cooking. I prefer to use to do gravy, so. But I like to have it on hand. And that's the only type of tomato that I use. Tomato don't grow well in my garden, and I don't bother growing them much either. But I like to have tomato puree. It's not much process so i like that it does not have a lot of things in it other than tomato pulp and this is about it's less than a dollar i think it's like 87 cents so 52 of that will be or uh, 50 will be about you know 50 dollars so or less so that's all he got from there at the moment that's what they have available and the pasta that i'm talking about spaghetti that i'm talking about is this so i think he got one two three four five six seven eight so the equivalent of one box so that's that and i think that's all they carry in the store when they get again i'll just buy it again and little by little i will get to the number that i wanted to get to so that's four pounds and what i like about it is in individual bags so that's four bags in here making it easy for me like when i cook two of the two pounds for a household of seven we have leftovers and i will serve that as lunch for the next day for the kids and myself so and that's that and i try to cook it like once a week but sometimes i cook it twice a week so that's how i stock up on my staples and for the situation we are in i prefer to have all my staples at home you know and so that when I, that's what I do in Israel, but a lot of times there are things that I purchase every month. And, I, and those things that I purchase every month, I wanted to purchase them now as well to have at least three months worth of uh, my grocery staples at home. That way when I cook, I just go to my pantry and pick what I need. So our pantry is very small. But what I did is I have some sturdy shelves in the basement and I use, I have my office uh, supplies on those shelves units. So I took them down, they were in tote. So I put them on the floor and I just free one shelf, uh, one a sturdy shelves for those staples to go on them. So I will move them there. And while we are talking, I can show you our new arrivals behind me here. 
those came on the 8th of July and we have a few days prior to that we got another one as well so they are and they will be on our website ninassoap.com is 2s N I N A S S O A P dot com. So Nina Soap dot com. So we have our towels. This we have them. And this one is the one that I sew myself. They are the um, flower sack towels. About 12. About 12 inches by 12 and they are very great to have a stash in the bathroom that way you can just get uh, grab one when you wash your hand you use the bathroom you wash your hand you just grab one and wipe, wipe your your hand and you just leave it on the counter and you know people do that and put it on the counter and when you go there you just grab them and put them in a bucket under the sink or I like to have a trash bag on the floor and I'll just put them on it until it's about full and then I'll wash them in hot water so we have that and I will have it on the website. I think I have not put it there yet, but it's on our SC store. So I'm selling it about a set of five. And we have this one that came and it's very long. And what I like about this and is having it on the counter. So what I do is I put it on the counter when I'm baking bread and I'm kneading my dough for the second time to put it on the uh, baking pan. Yeah, I like to have it on the counter and it's very long. I believe 17.5 inches by 36.5. So it's very long and it will just keep your counter clean while you are baking. And it's great to put it on the counter, put your cutting board on it it helps the cutting board not to move around and you can knead your dough or you can then prep your vegetables for cooking so that will just catch all the mess for you and you just shake it outside if you want and it's great to have it around while we are cooking and you don't wear apron or whether you wear apron or not it's very good to just wipe your hand on it so I test it wiping dishes but is it doesn't soak water well and I think the reason is is very is natural on bleach so it has the natural oil uh, cotton oil in it so it's not going to soak water well from dishes but it's very good to wipe your hand on it and I like it for the fact that it's very rough it has a rough texture which I like is because I'm more you know uh, I like natural things so I'm more drawn to those natural texture is kind of rough and very sturdy so we got this it came in I uh, believe last month so they are on our website ninasoap.com and I have them here let's see if you'll be able to see them here so they are here so I have them on those, in fact, those three. And I need to sew more of those towels. I have the machine behind me here, if you can see it. So I need to make more of those. Uh, I'm making napkin, so soon. Don't know that'll be in flower sack. I'm thinking about making in flower sack. So, and then some cotton fabrics. And so this one, before I show you this one, let's talk about this one here. So you can see that my office is kind of busy right now because I don't have shelves units and the business is going to purchase their own shelves unit. But I like to make shelves first and I can use the proceeds to buy those supplies. So we have, that's a new arrival that I'm going to, um, list on our website I have not done it yet so I've been a little bit busy and to get the pictures and get them ready so and this one is hard is 70% bamboo and 30% cotton organic so 
well because I'm not the one that is set certified organic I'm not going to put organic in the tarot I might put in the description or the ingredient but yeah they are organic bamboo great for dishes so we have those colors I would say that's the blue that's the green and pink right light pink and we have the deep pink and we have the white so let's open this one and that's the size and it is length free is cotton is bamboo terry so you can see the loop so it does not produce lens and bamboo cotton is very absorbent so it's very great to wipe dishes and i will and this is a nice size for napkin so i might probably list it as bamboo cotton napkins we'll see or uh, bamboo it'll be bamboo cotton dish towel as well so that's very great to wipe dishes to wipe your hand you can have it as a hand towel in the bathroom as well i don't like those long hand towel traditional hand towels in the bathroom because everybody is wiping hands on it and some some people don't even my kids some some of them don't wash their hand well and then when i catch them i will say go wash it again so i'm teaching them how to wash their hand properly but if everybody is using the same towel to wipe a hand we might just be sharing germs, you know, so I like the idea of just having individual towels. That's what I have for some years now in the bathroom, individual towels that you grab one, you wipe your hand, you put on the counter so no one else use it. So that limits the chance of transferring germs to each other because one doesn't wash your hand well or things like that. So that's the idea behind it. I like hand, individual hand towels. So and um. And that's what I've been selling on my SC store and my blog. But I'm going to move the store on my blog out of there. And that's why I have they have their own website now, Nina Store for uh, our natural products. So and I like natural product, natural fiber. So we have 100% cotton, we have 100% bamboo, and we have bamboo and cotton as well. So we have this one. And that's 100% bamboo. In fact, let me see if we have. Don't know if you're able to see it. So 70 30. And we have our brand on it. And this one, let me take this out. I don't know if I have my sample here. out of the back that way I know that that's my sample and that's a hundred percent bamboo and it's not looped like the other one it's kind of weaved in a certain way and I like that about it and this is great to wipe your dish and to wash dishes. So it's a great dish wash. It's kind of light to wash dishes and to wipe dishes. So it's going to be a dish towel as well. And um, we'll be putting it on our website as well. So now that we are done with this one that we have, we have here, the one in the box behind me, all the way to the bottom, I have them here. So let's start with this one. I have multiple designs, but I'm not going to 
go through the designs but this is gauze tower let me see if you'll be able to and that's great for hand towel so we are it's great to have a stash of it in the bathroom to wipe hand it's great to wash faces as well so very soft 100% cotton gas hand towels and we have multiple designs of them next we have 100% bamboo, bamboo theory. Great to wipe a hand, to wipe face, and when during call a cold season, is a great towel to wipe nose as well. So when I, my kids, what they like to do, I have a bunch of it in my bedroom, uh, but I have the cotton one, and they just like to grab one. I have cut their yeah, cotton, and they will grab it to wipe their nose when they have cold. And then they will put it in the bag, in the bathroom, and I'll just wash them all in hot water. So I don't use tissue at home so those are my product as alternative of paper towel tissue paper and paper napkins so that's that so that's a great towel to wipe nose to wipe hand and to wash face 100% bamboo our next is this one as well it has a trim and it has the hook in case you wanted to hook it up and that's great to wipe dishes so I like that about it you can wipe your hand as well it's a little bit um, heavier than the one that I just show you and it's great to wipe hands to wipe dishes and we have it in gray and blue so far so they will be on our website as well. I don't have the gray color here. I think I put it back already. It's not in that box. That will be in the bottom one here probably. So we have the blue and the gray, gray brown, but yeah, whatever you call it. So visit our website at ninasub.com and shop with us if you like to substitute paper towel in your household with natural fibers, 100% cotton, 100% bamboo bamboo and cotton thank you for watching i'm afiavi ojune libreman creators of libreman consulting llc youtube channel and owners of nina soap and our website is ninasoap.com we have a lot of fabrics as well in the totes here that i have on i have out I have one so far on SC, but I'll be putting more on SC and other marketplaces as well. Great to make um, mask face covering out of, and some of them I'm going to be sewing cloth napkins, cotton napkins out of them as well. So, yeah, I have been a little bit pro. Um, occupied with 
our arrivals and my office has been busy as well. So we invite you to um, visit our um, NinaSoap.com will be launched on July 8, 2020. I invite you to shop with us. Thank you.